this sometimes had me all over the place. Right, I think it's left here, but why it's decided to take us down the old tracks, I haven't got a clue. Anyway. We're coming towards Saxthorpe now. I grew up around here. It's a lovely bit of the world, it's gorgeous, isn't it? But, um, we've had to move back. My, uh, my great uncle died not so long ago. He left me his farm. This, uh, this here. This picture is my great uncle Clyde. Cracker guy. Fantastic farmer. He always had a joy in his heart. But, uh, old age cat such as catches up with all of us and then um, he just couldn't keep going anymore. Now, I've done a couple of seasons elsewhere as a farmhand but well, if Uncle Clyde's left me the farm, I'll do what I can to try and keep it going. He was always an interesting fella. Never particularly believed in newfangled stuff. He just did what he could. Oh, look, there's the old saw sawmill. That means just on the left here is going to be the farm shop. And then there's uh, Ted's farm just over on the right here. There we go. And there's the drunken duckling. Cracking pub that. Uh, right, so we need to turn... Um, well, yeah, right here. And then it's uh, left of the garage. It's been a few years. But I can still just about remember the way. I said he was a bit of an interesting fellow. This is my own great uncle Clyde in his uh, in his favourite tractor. He loved that thing. He did. Now, Priesthold Farmhouse. It's just down here on the left. We're there in a minute or two, I think. House has been in my family for a couple of generations just sits on the side of uh, a few fields of ours. Here we go. That's it now. No, so this has already given me the keys. And I've got everything packed up in this van, but uh, it'll take me a while to get to get in, I suppose. Have a quick look. Hey, Uncle Clyde, these... Uh, these fields are looking a bit rough, you know. All for biodiversity, but I never knew you let so many weeds around. Ooh, somebody's looking after this field, though. It's carrots, I think. There used to be some sheep pens over that side. It's just all gone now. Anyway. Don't get settled in. There's that key. Uh, it doesn't work. Can I help you? Oh, uh, oh, hello. Uh, well, yeah, this is my house. Um, my uncle Clyde lived here. He left it to me in his will. Oh, your uncle Clyde sold it to me. What do you mean he sold it a couple of years ago? He ran out of money. He keeps the barns. Oh, right. Is that your van? Well, yeah, that's my van, because uh, I was moving well, in. Get it off my land. Um, right, sorry. OK, I'll, I'll, I'll shift it. Uh, so it's the the barns behind? Yes. OK. Right. Oh, well. Looks like Uncle Clyde had to sell the house. What, what would make him sell Priesthold? It was our great-great-granddad's house, that. The barns he's kept. Well, the barns are just round the back. Um, next, on the left, I think. It's probably about another minute up there at the road. I can't believe Uncle Clyde finished his life living out of a trailer on the barn. It's 
Here we go. Down here. There used to be some nice little barns down here and this is always a bit of a bustly space but um, well it does look like it's seen better days and have a look applied everything's looking a bit rough buildings the land itself Look at all these weeds. There's the trailer. Does the key work? Yep. Yeah. yeah, it does. There we go. Well, this is what we've been left then. Let's have a look, shall we? This is all gone. This used to be really well kept. There's at least the water pond still here. Always useful for pastures. And then through here there used to be a couple of fields. That just looks like it's turned back into the meadow. And then just through this next gate was a bunch of buildings. They seem to have all gone. Oh. Hey dear Uncle Clyde. He was getting old, but I didn't realise he was struggling this much. I wish he'd said something. I'd come back. Let's have a look inside. Oh, there's a letter. Dear GP, if you found this note, it, I must not have made it back out of hospital this time. I'm hoping that it's you that finds this missive. Uh, I'm not doing so good, and the ambulance driver is waiting for me. Old age isn't a joke, you know. Anyway, the farm is in your hands now. There's not much left. I couldn't afford any hands, so our land is a little rougher than you might remember from a couple of seasons ago. But with some love and guts, you should be able to get it going again. Talk to Ted at the Drunken Duckling. He might be able to fill you in a little, and try and keep out of sight of that posh frock living in mom, our mum's old house. She's more tightly wound than a watch spring, and to be honest, it's pretty obvious money doesn't buy you happiness or good manners. Much love, lad. Uncle Clyde. Okay. Well, let's have a look at what we've got then. May as well bring the, the transit on. I didn't bring much with me, but it'll definitely fit in that trailer. Some kit. Kit. Let's just close this gate. There is some gear there. Most of it looks as if it's seen better days though. All just so dirty. Well that looks a bit newer. Right, let's go park up this van. Oh, hang on a second. There's still the grain store here. Well, that's at least one building that survived. Have a look. There's a weight over there. Like it's just been abandoned. <sighs> well, that combine certainly looks like it could do with a good wash. And a fair amount of uh, TLC as well. few bales sat around. There's a bit of fertilizer and seed there as well. A 
think Uncle Clyde was doing some contracting work. He certainly wasn't looking after anything around here. Anyway, get parked up and we'll have a look around. Have a look at some of the gear. May as well abandon it on this bit of grass. Right, we're unpacked, that's good. Let's have a look. What is there around here? Don't see any tractors. Let's have a look in the barns. Is that awful? Oh hey El. That's Uncle Glyde <laughs> Lundy. <laughs> it looks like it's done. <laughs> A few runs in. That is disgusting, lad. Bones of it look alright, though. Hopefully it'll be okay. Not a tractor around here. Maybe there is one in this, this barn instead. Look pretty empty. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Oh, that's his beloved one. It doesn't look as if it's been very beloved, though. Let's get some light on it. Wow. Not just the outside, that engine sounds really rough. Let's pull it out and see what happens. Oh, the accelerator is sticky. It doesn't seem very happy at all. I don't really know anything about these Fords. Uncle Clyde must have been really poorly if it let it get like this. The best thing we can do is probably take this straight up to the, the local garage and see if they can do anything. Yeah, I think... Uh, We've got a bit of cash. Well, managed to sell properties before moving back here, so um, a couple of hundred thousand just to keep me settled in. But I can't, I can't leave this tractor looking like this. Oh, it's hardly got any fuel either. Let's take it up to the garage and see if they can do anything with it. At least if we've got a tractor, we've got some capacity to move some of this kit around. Right. Well, back the way we came then. Excuse me, Mr. Deer. The sax thought. This engine sounds like it's knocking a lot. It's definitely not happy. The village centre now. And I think there's the class dealership just on the right after you go past this uh, petrol station. It's right here, and then I think it's right again. Down that one. There we go, class dealership. Must have a mechanic there who can have a look at this front. It's just sounded awful the whole way. To be honest, I'm not sure it could actually get back to the farm from here. It's a bit of a drive. pretty empty. There's nobody in doing any work. Maybe they can just have a look at it now. Uh, hello? Hello? 
You know what I mean? Do you want a hand? Yeah. Oh, hello, mate. Yeah, I'm wondering, can you have a look at this tractor for me? Oh, an old Ford. Be about three grand, mate. Three grand. Three grand to get it back running again. It'll have to do the job. I, I can't afford a respray on it, though. But at least the engine's good now, yeah? Yeah, it'll do. Good. Not seen oh, it for crackle. a while. <laughs> It'd have been nice if you'd thrown a hose at it as well. Uh, at three grand, but um, never mind. I can help you. Yeah, hi. I was just wondering, is there any uh, any work going? Not really, no. Not really. I can lend my hand to most things, but I'm just looking for a bit of work. I've uh, I've just come back to the area. My my uncle Clyde. Uh, Clyde isn't working. Oh, you knew here. Clyde. All oh, right. Goodbye. Oh, okay. I don't know what that was about. Let's get this back to the farm. Stop at the petrol station on the way past, past and um, maybe we'll just try and fill this thing back up again. Get some fuel in it too. Don't know how long that diesel's been sat there for. Well, there we go. A uh, hundred pounds on diesel into the engine. Uh, we, we got back home all right. It has to be said, now that this has had a bit of repair, it is much happier. Accelerator's no longer sticking, and it sounds a lot sweeter. We should probably look at what we own. So, what actually was left from Uncle Clyde then? Have a look on these maps. Deeds seem to say, oh well. We used to own quite a lot, but now it's just these tatty fields. Well, at least we've got some kids. <laughs> Is that Tedder? These are a bit more American than UK. That's far too big for getting through, <laughs> through on UK roads. And this truck, not really sure why he's got one of these. It's not really... Well, it's a bit bells and whistles, but it's not the same as having an actual tractor, is it? You can't do much with it. They're not cheap. wonder who sold him that lemming. Well, let's try and get things cleaned up. See what we can do. We're going to have to use that dealership for most of us, but to be honest, that guy behind the uh, the desk didn't fill me with much excitement. See if we can fix some of our own gear rather than three grand to fix a, a Ford seemed a bit, you know, a bit much. Deer's a lot around here, isn't there? There's another one just running off. Right, let's go and clean this up. In, in the way, a stinker decay. And, uh, well, thank Uncle Clyde here not to, not to see me chip off another piece of paint on the, uh, the side of this tractor. What uh, metal on? Doesn't look too rusty. Better. Looking good. Right. Well, let's clean up everything else then, shall we? Just pump this away in the uh, in the shed here, and then it stays hopefully a bit nicer. Not putting anything back in those barns. They're horrible. Well, I've cleaned everything up. 
had a bit of a go at least of uh, most of the machinery, but I really do not know why it was that Uncle Clyde had this. It does seem like a, a bit of a red herring of a vehicle for, uh, for our farm. So, um, I'm going to sell it, see what I can get for it. And uh, I'm thinking of suggesting to them that I've got a Ford Transit back at the farm as well if they want that. But if they want to take this off me, well, I might put the money into something a bit more useful. Just give them a bit of a respray and see if that helps to uh, improve their value. So, just shy of eight grand for the back and the truck itself. Oh, nearly ten, eleven hundred quid. That's not bad. That'll give me sixty-one for the uh, transit. Well, we'll have that as well then. Yeah, we can. We can use Uncle Clyde's Landy to get ourselves around as we need to. I think we need. Nothing meant against the Ford. It's a it's a lovely old tractor, but it's an old tractor. I'll keep it because I want to make sure he's all right. Um, let's grab a chainsaw. I probably need something to be able to cart stuff around with. Uh, let's get the number plate off in a minute. I'll I'll figure out what our registration is going to be, and I'll I'll sling something on the back of it later. Um. I think we do need to look at a new tractor. Now this might be a class dealership, but uh, I ain't touching a class tractor that for certain. A lot of uh, a lot of stuff I wouldn't expect to see available. That new Holland looks alright though. Maybe the John Deere. Nah, let's let's have a go at this T6 then. We uh, need to see what the registration is going to be. Best put G GPS on it, and we want a quickie front loader. Brilliant. We're not doing anything else. GPS will be useful. We've got quite a lot of uh, options with it. So, um, there we go. 130 grand for everything we've just bought, I suppose. But, um, tractor and a little trailer for... Well, if nothing else, we can probably cart some of those bales off somewhere. Right, let's get back. There we go, tractor in place. You see, there used to be just a couple of small fields in this bit. Thinking. That's probably what we need to do first, is, is just go and plough a couple of fields. Get some fields in place. Get some uh, oil seed radish in them. Just let them overwinter. Mulch it down. Get ourselves just a small crop for ourselves to keep going. Maybe some barley or something that we can feed some chickens. And then, well, see where we get ourselves from there. It's quite a small plough this, but uh, having said that, this New Holland's got quite a small engine, so that should go well together. Let's get a couple of fields put in. Just one on either side of the road, I think. Should be fine. It's a lovely track, this. Comparative to that board, it's just got a lot of mod cons on it that seem to be quite helpful. It's quite a comfy seat. Uh, all the hydraulics seem to work alright. Right. 
let's get blowing. This could take, well, this could take quite a long time, such a small plow. But I suppose we've got nothing else to do today, have we? Let's see where we get to. Well, that's both of those fields nicely ploughed. It's not a bad little plough, to be honest, and this T6 is quite nice. I've enjoyed it. But uh, I'm not just going to put this away. I think it's fair to say that this plough looks like it's got half the Norfolk Downs sat on it. I'm not sure when the last time was that uh, Uncle Clyde actually washed any of his gear, but look at the amount of paint that's off that as well. Still works, I suppose, that's the main thing. There we go. Quick spray over the tractor itself. And... It is new! Well, it is new. Let's get this plough back, and then I suppose the next thing we need to do... Well, we need to uh, overwinter these fields. A bit of radish in them. Just let that uh, do what it does. I don't think I've seen a mulcher, so we'll have to get one of those. Fair enough, I suppose. And then... Um, well, by the time we've got these two fields seeded, 
They're only small. <laughs> this cedar isn't. It's a really rum thing to have for, uh, for British roads. It's even got an American triangle on the back of it. I'm not quite sure. My uncle Clyde's got it. I do have a feeling that it might have to go reasonably soon and we'll get something else a bit more useful. Oh. Hoping nobody watched that and saw it. Poor performance on the turn there, never mind. Right, let's get some seed and fertiliser in this thing, whatever the case may be. We'll get these fields done. Okay. Seed done. Fertiliser done. Let's make sure we've got the right seed in there. leave that seed and fertiliser there and I'll be honest with you, I'm leaving that flipping seed drill there as well. Can't even get it through the gates easily. <sighs> right, it's ten to one. I'm absolutely shattered. They're too big for me to be able to lift. I think it's time to go and see if Ted's up at the drunken duckling. Have a better chat with him. See what's going on. But, uh, I might just drop into the dealership and see if they can do uh, a deal on that cedar. I suppose at least it's got these fields done for us. They're not massive, but um might be able to just get a, a bit of crop in there to keep us going for a bit. Right. Let's get up the road. Let's uh, go and say hello to Ted. Well, it was lovely to catch up with Ted. I've not seen him since I was a teenager. Um, he's a lovely guy. He was telling me a little bit about the uh, lady who's now living in Priesthood Farms. Well, she's not um, particularly well liked by the local farming community, to be honest. Seems to be causing a bit of trouble, but um, her and my uncle Clyde seem to have a really bad relationship. It really caused quite a lot of trouble, but anyway, Turns out Uncle Clyde hadn't been doing so well. <clears throat> He'd really been struggling. A number of the local farmers had sort of taken him on for contract work and farm handing, but in truth he wasn't really able to keep up. Uh, he was really, really at the end of his wit. Um, some of the local farmers were just keeping him going, which is, which is really lovely of them. Ted said there's there's not much hope for uh, for much farming on the fields. I've just Cloud and he's right, they're not very big. Um, he suggested I maybe look at some contract stuff as well, so I'll see what I can do. I'd like to be able to get to the point where we can start to to build back up Priesthold Farms again and, and see what we can do. Um, it's been in the family for years and I'd, I'd like to get it back there, but well, we'll just have to see how, how the next few months go. Anyway, for the moment, um, I better just get back to doing some work, seeing what can happen. But I'll check the local contract board. Oh, hang on. 
was a letter. To the new occupier of the old barns sat Thorpe Grant. As the community watch representative in the area, I am writing in the strictest concern about the undue and antisocial behaviour and noise coming from the old barns complex. While you have only just moved into the new area, we would wish you to realise that this is a quiet and peaceful part of the world, and your excessive use of machinery is ruining our rural charm. Should you continue to undertake excessive activities at the old barns complex, we will have no other option but to formally charge a cease and desist order against you. We note too that the old barns is a death trap, run down and a stain against the local community. We urge you to shift up, sell up and ship out of our village. Regards. R. S. Scrawford. Well, um, I think we can probably bet who uh, R. S. Crawford is. It's nice to finally have at least a second name for uh, said person. But um, I'm going to get on to my solicitors. Catch you in the next episode, and we'll see where we get to. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.